Do you want to know all the steps that you will have to go through when acquiring any new skill? In this video, you will know everything about these four steps and how knowing this four steps model can help you comfortably going through any learning process. Interested? Keep watching. Hey guys, I just wanted to grab your attention just for a quick sec. I want to share something that I'm so excited about. In January 2020, I'm starting my new online training program, the Time Flies Academy. If you are a busy corporate professional or corporate manager and you're working 50 to 60 hours a week and you are almost burning out and you never have time for the things that are truly important for you like spending time with your family working on a passion project or a side business or just simply taking care of your health and you wish you had a system to bring you back to 40 hours a week then this training is for you with the framework inside this program you will be able to save 10 to 20 hours a week which is almost a thousand hours in a year, which is more than a whole month back of your time. And this is where it gets really, really exciting. The first launch in January 2020 is going to be at a highly discounted price because that's going to be the first launch and that's a special price for the founding members. You definitely want to be a founding member. If this sounds interesting to you, just sign up for the waitlist you have the link in the notes of this video or maybe in the link right here and see you there you'll have much more information coming your way very soon you'll be the first one to know so without further ado just come back to the video hey bonjour i'm hugo and i help busy professionals be more productive and get back in control of their own time if this sounds like you consider subscribing to this channel and ring the bell to be notified every week with new content I'm going to start this video with a quote from Plato. All learning has an emotional base. So let me explain the model first and then how can we use it to our advantage. So this is a four phases model. There are four stages. The first stage is to be unconsciously incompetent. So on any given skill, you don't know that you don't have the skill. Or even worse, sometimes you don't even know that this skill exists or that you need to learn it. So that's the first stage. Then you move to the second stage, which is the stage of being consciously incompetent. You are conscious of your incompetence. You know that you don't have the skill, which is already an improvement from the first stage. Then we move to the third stage, which is the stage of consciously competence. At this stage, you acquire the skill and you know you have it, but you still need to be very conscious to practice it. Then moving on to the fourth stage of unconsciously competent. You don't even remember that you have the skill or you don't even focus on it. When you use it, it becomes easy. So now, how to use this model? Well, every phase has its own challenges. And it's always great to know which phase you are in to remind yourself where you're at. So coming back to the first stage of unconsciously incompetent. In the case that you're not even aware of your incompetence, well, there is nothing that you can really do. Ignorance is a bliss, right? Do you know the Dunning-Kruger effect? It's a cognitive bias in which people mistakenly assess their cognitive ability as greater than it actually is. Basically, the more incompetent you are, the more competent you think you are. So what could you do in order to know what skills you'd need to work on? I would suggest that you do a skill analysis to identify new skills that you may want to pick up and then move on to the next phase of consciously incompetence. When you are consciously incompetent, you are incompetent, but at least you are conscious of it which is already an improvement following this model compared to the first stage. The truth is, well, you suck and you know you suck. I know it can be a hard pill to swallow. You can easily understand that the challenge at this phase is to combat negative thinking and to get confidence that this phase is just temporary. 
So at this point, you can reassure yourself that it's a learning process. This is a learning skill and it's difficult and frustrating at times. I understand that. But you are on track because you're already in the phase two. So you are on a learning path. And like any other learning path, it can be uncomfortable at times. We grow when we get out of our comfort zone. But things will improve if you stay committed to learn. If you don't go to the next stage, you will stay incompetent forever. Forever. Is this what you want? No? Then come with me and move on to the next stage. The next stage is consciously competent. You are finally competent, but you still have to be conscious of it. The good news is that you don't suck anymore. Yes! At this stage, you need to be fully focused on the task at hand to make sure that you are using your skill properly. You cannot multitask at this stage. Even though you know me, I strongly discourage multitasking in any case, as you know from this video. You can still identify new ways of exploring your new skill and get better every day. But the more you practice your new skill, the quicker you will move to the fourth stage. Unconsciously competent. At this stage, you are competent and you are not even conscious about it anymore. It just becomes effortless. There is also a possibility that if you're not practicing regularly, then you might backslide into the previous stage. It's also important to value the skills that you just acquired and not to be too impatient with other people that might not have the skill yet. Also, maybe because at this point you reach such a level of mastery that it's time to teach it to others. Let's take an example from my personal experience. I started golf a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, and I really got the bug. I mean, if you know golf, you know that you either hate golf or you love golf. And it happened that I just loved golf. And now I'm just addicted. I have to play every weekend. I mean, when I can. So one year ago, I had never played before in my whole life but I thought I could pick up fairly easily. I was unconscious, incompetent. Then I tried for the first time and I sucked. I realized how hard it was and I became finally consciously incompetent. I started to be conscious of my incompetence. I am currently in the phase of consciously competent as I can play sometimes below 100. So that was my goal with playing golf. I wanted just to start having fun because at the beginning it's not really fun. You can't really, really finish a course by yourself. So I can play below 100, but it requires being very, very focused and hopefully play well. I know I will be in this phase for so long. I know that because golf is such a hard skill to master and I might not even leave this phase to be honest. But imagine if one day I can really be great, I might reach this unconscious competence level. Now I want to learn about you. What are you learning right now? And what stage are you at? Are you unconsciously incompetent, consciously incompetent, consciously competent or unconsciously competent? Let me know in the comment section below. I would really love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and if you liked what you just watched, please just give a thumbs up. That really helps with YouTube algorithm and share this video on your favorite platform, uh, social media, whether it's LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter or other. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And you know what? You can also watch more cool videos right here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for trusting me with your time. See you next week. Au revoir.